Samantha's is a bitch. Woody's a bitch. Greg's a bitch. Sammy's a bitch. And therefore, until further notice, they are all banned from future CBS events. <laughs> I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's going to be direct. The Woody Show. Well, good news. We have since worked our way off that band list because of the uh, mistake that CBS made in that last round of Woody Show Family Feud. Some say it was intentional by me, just so I could get you guys back <laughs> to my next story. Is that, oh, yeah, it was yeah. an intentional mistake. Uh-huh. Yeah, he doesn't make any mistakes, that's, yeah. you know. That's the rumor. Ever. Not technically you know, a mistake. Without yeah. it being, you know, planned. Right. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, Woody, Greg, Menace, you, Seabass, yep. there's Sammy, morning. Gina Grad is here hey. this morning, and we're going to play Cameo on the Cheapo. Yes. Nice. So Cameo, you can get some personalized greetings from celebrities from the A-list all the way down to the Z, double Z list sometimes. Down to never heard of them. Down to never heard of them, right? And uh, and so we have these different categories. So the celebrities are put into different categories. We have to try to guess here which Cameo is the cheaper get. And whichever one it ends up being, we have a personalized greeting from that celebrity. Lucky. What is the first category, Seabass? Greg, mm-hmm. these are people you love. Really? This is the Greg Gory category. Oh, oh, babe. <laughs> so our first person, I and I had to kind of guess at this one, but Greg loves HGTV. We all know <laughs> this. Who doesn't? More than anything. Yeah. Gina, is it true that you didn't even know that HGTV was a channel, like an actual channel? No, I didn't know it was a channel with lots of shows. I knew that. I, I thought it just got piped into the dentist office. Oh my I didn't God. know it was a real TV. Oh, like channel. some of those channels you see, oh, like bars and stuff, right, or like just showing little videos. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> really? Or in the gas pump. I had no pump. idea. You've seen my car. Does it look like I watch HGTV? No. Okay. How can now, you not? Greg, yeah. I know uh, Flip or Flop is, <laughs> I guess they probably made 3,000 of those episodes. And Tarek oh, yeah. El Musa? El Musa, yeah. yeah. He is on Cameo. No way. <laughs> not surprised. Now, not surprised. If you've never right. seen or heard this, I guess Flip or Flop is where Tarek and I guess now his ex-wife? Yeah. Christina. They yeah, Who's this... been married, what, three times three since times. Tarek? Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Twice. I think only twice. Oh, wait, twice. since Tarek, twice, yes. Yeah. Aunt? And uh, Josh. <laughs> Josh. See, and they're I know going about through this. a divorce right now. Yeah. This is very I thought there was another guy, though. I thought there was a third I guy, no? I mean, so. she might be dating somebody new, but I, I think it's only Like, this two. could be a whole show. Uh, <laughs> so if you're not familiar, I guess this is a clip from earlier when Tarek and Christina were still together. And they walk into homes and they, I guess, manufacture yep. a problem, manufacture problems in not only the house, but between the two of them, <laughs> but, yeah. such as how much they're going to pay contractors. I think this wall opened up would actually create a lot of space. I'm sure that's what you think. That is what I think, and I'm always right. Oh, Tark's always right? Please. I knew he was going to try and nickel and dime this house. (laughs) This kitchen's tiny, and if we're going to get top dollar, I've got news for you. Size matters. Ah. Christina thinks problems can be fixed by throwing money at it. But we've only been in this house for a couple minutes, and we've already been hit with new windows and air conditioning. So to make a profit on this one, we have to be cost efficient. And to be honest, she should know this by now. It's flipping 101. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Yeah, Christina, you should know that. He is really natural (laughs) and not at all repeating things his producers told him to (laughs) say. You see the smile on Greg's face when that audio is playing? It's just so happy. How can you not love that show? Yeah. (laughs) And I hate watch them because I don't like either of them as people. Me neither. But I love the show. I hate her more. He's annoying. I'm starting to like her. He's annoying, but I hate her more. I hate the way she talks. She has mega upspeak. Mm. And then yeah. every everything that rhymes with you, like she goes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. And talk about a person who looks completely different. Yeah, without makeup. I know makeup enhances. <laughs> it, and it, change, it does. But dude, she completely, it, you would think that she had like some Hollywood magic going on there. <laughs> yeah. Where like really? they take Ryan Reynolds and turn him into, you know, <laughs> Deadpool. Cool. But, I actually, I've never know, seen her without makeup. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, it, she's not like, Unattractive, she just looks She's completely not. different. She does completely different. Yeah, the gayest it. thing about Woody is he gets super into these <laughs> HGTV things, and, but not only that, all the who's who, the how many times they, and they've been married. Do they look different? <laughs> <Yeah>. Makeup, <laughs> rare. Well, no, because I'm just surprised. Like, cause I've always hated her, right. and so the fact that her relationships keep failing is like Schadenfreude, Ooh. you know, where it's like, uh, huh, clearly it's her. Right, you know, and it just val- so, it validates my own feelings about her. Hundred percent, her. So yeah. I just googled her yeah, like, bitch. without makeup, and I was like, "Oh, she looks like us." <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's yeah, without skinny. makeup, yeah. she looks like menace. Yeah, but like, she has a, a person coming to her house to do her makeup every day. Okay, yeah. so it's a uh, Tark though, right? Tark is on Cameo. Okay. The, other, okay, the other thing that Greg watches all the time, besides HGTV, is the is GSN Game Show Network. Oh hell yes! Greg, would you believe on Cameo available right this second? John Michael Higgins. Oh, no I way! Love. Really? He, 
Yeah, he's, he's been in literally a thousand uh, sitcoms, a hundred different movies, movies, and he's hosted five hundred something episodes of the game show America Says, right? Which I've appeared on. Uh, Gina, you I have you just another made... person for Greg to be jealous of. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Cameron, who used to work here, went on that show while just... working on this show and knowing that Greg loved that show. <gasps> I'm the one that brought the show to his attention. What? Right. And, and then invite... he went on there with some like dorky friends of his. And yeah. Invited a replacement guy who yeah. had nothing to do with his team theme. Right. Yeah. You go on as like, hey, we're the kickball league. It was yeah. him. Yeah. It was him, his dumb wife, and then. Uh, <laughs> This friend, right, oh. and then Who, some chick, and right. not you. No, and then I said, "Well, why didn't Greg you ask was so me? bummed? And I was said, mad for him. Oh well, we're supposed to all be couples. I'm like, oh, because I can't lie on TV, right. yeah. And just go with this chick and go, yeah, she's my girlfriend, yeah, my super yeah. hot Like girlfriend. they do some sort of FBI background check. <laughs> they <on> do not. <laughs> Give me a break. So if you're not familiar with John Michael Higgins, uh, here he did a little thing for. Uh, game Show Network, where he he answered questions about his uh, his personal life. Greg. Oh, right. We asked America, "What do you guys want to know about John Michael Higgins?" Oh, that's me. Uh, all right, how many suits do you own? I don't own any suits. I steal them from work. Number two, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, I write vocal arrangements. Yeah. Number three, what's your favorite song ever? It's the girl from Ipanema. What is your <laughs> secret for a successful marriage? Shut up and listen. Oh. Thank you to all of our fantastic viewers for submitting such inquisitive questions. Yeah. I even learned something about myself there. I can't remember what, but I'm sure it was good. <laughs> so you that, like this guy? I do. He's uh, funny. He's and a, he's actually not gay. Isn't that yeah, that's shocking. Shocking. Because huh. he talks like <laughs> Paul Lind. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's in all the, uh, you know, Christopher waiting Guess. for Guffman. Yeah, Christopher Guest movies. Right. He's a very good comedic actor. Best in show. Right. Okay. Talk to Daddy. All the stuff you don't mention, I don't know him from, but the... Bad teacher. I, I know his... Yeah, I know his face. I'm like, like I said, he's been he's yeah. had two guest spots on every single sitcom ever existed. That's right. Yeah. Existence. Right, so, so Greg, who's well, the these, cheaper get? This is the like the best one ever. I told you it's for Greg. So yeah, one John Michael Higgins from uh, Game Show Network. And I think that dude. Tarek Al Musa from Tarek takes himself way too seriously. Why would he? Yeah. If he's such a real estate mogul, why is he on camera? I know, right? Mm -hmm. And he's always trying to portray himself as a mega baller. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know. which he probably is. No, but he goes. He's one of those guys who goes out of his way to make sure that his watch is in the shot. Right. You know, like, like he could have long sleeves on, and he'll pull it up and just kind of tuck it behind the face of his watch, <laughs> just to make sure that everybody oh, yeah, sees yeah, yeah. his watch over the cuff or like, whatever. He's, it reminds yeah. me of that story that you told about your one friend when you guys went to. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, lunch. Yeah. Or, <laughs> tell that story for anybody who doesn't remember. A friend of mine bought these new Ferragamo shoes, blue suede Ferragamo <laughs> shoes. And we go to this restaurant and we sat at a booth. He was sitting towards the wall. And within about five minutes, he had this massive revelation. He went, oh, baby, we need to switch seats. I said, why? He's like, I need to be on the outside so people can see my shoes. Yeah, and then he sat and he sat, sat, and like, crossed his hanging. leg yeah. and like pointed his foot out. Yeah. So, people so people can <laughs> see my shoes. Don't know you, don't care about you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Tarek El Musa. Yeah, it is, yeah. it is. Oh, Julia. I have the f most embarrassing story. Uh, I was driving with my parents uh, one vacation, and we drove, we Googled and drove <laughs> past Tarek Al Musa's house. Oh, my God. His kids were playing up front, <laughs> and as I'm driving by, my mom said, stop the car so I can take a picture of his house. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Mom, no, his kids are out there playing. Stop the car, go around the block. Oh <laughs> and I refused, and she got so mad at me for not stopping. Uh, I'm proud of you, Greg. So wait, your mom's a giant oh, HGTV fan? She makes Woody and I look like novices. <laughs> Greg, wow. let's have like a weekend with your mom. And do Greg. a tour. And just yeah. do like a HGTV marathon. Let's, oh my God, best weekend ever. I know. And then we can do yeah. the stocking tour. Yeah. We can stock them all. I'm wow. down. I want to meet Hillary. All right, so I'm saying uh, <laughs> cheaper. Okay, Brett Cameo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to yeah. say the Game Show Network guy's cheaper. I'm going to say Tarek. He's, Tarek. He's more of a whore. Yeah, I would say <laughs> yeah, Tarek, Tarek as well. Tarek. Quite frankly, both these guys should, ha should have a lot of money. All right, now yeah. you have uh, no frame of reference on this, really, Gina, but uh, who do yeah. you think is cheaper? Uh, well, everything you said about this Tarek dude sounds like he, he'll he soak you for whatever you got. Oh, he'll yeah. turn you upside down and empty your pockets. So I'm going John Michael Higgins. All right. Who well. is the cheaper get? Four hundred dollars. Whoa! Four hundred dollars for yes, Tarek Al Musa. Nice. Yeah, what a douche! Was it Tarek doing those commercials? I'll buy your house. Yes, too, like Tarek or... buys houses. Dot com. I believe. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Seventy dollars. Seventy. Whoa! We'll get you John Michael Higgins, Greg Gore. Oh, yeah. Hey, this having... is John Michael Higgins sending a big fat kiss to my favorite radio show, The Woody Show. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, I know you're the host. I'm a host, too. We have host vibes together, I think. 
Uh, Seabass tells me that you are uh, a big fan of my show, uh, America Says, which I appreciate. He also says that you're in actual romantic love with me. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, and that he would, uh, that you would faint if you met me. Uh, um, my, uh, I'm married, and my wife does faint when she meets me almost every day. Not a good faint. Hey-o. It's not the faint you want. And I'm sure that if, if, you, if we ever had an opportunity to meet, you may be fainting more like my wife does, which is like kind of a medical faint. Same joke. As opposed to a romantic one. Be nice. <laughs> anyway, I do appreciate that you're a fan. I love to have fans, especially fans with a radio show and a sense of humor. Um, anyway, Seabass hey. uh, sends you his regards as well. And uh, let's keep going with that Woody show. It's fantastic. Um, and uh, if, if, if you would just wish me a little bit more of America Says, I would appreciate it, too. Mm. Anyway, Greg, nice to meet you. And a big uh, pile of love to the Woody Show, everybody. Watch it. Listen to it. Oh. Don't watch it. It's on the radio. It would look weird. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Okay, now that was I, awesome. I'm, I'm mega geeked out over that. <laughs> I, finally, cool. I finally figured it out where I know him from. Yeah? Uh, Picture Perfect. Okay. Yeah, he's like Pitch the perfect. commentator oh, that like Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Pitch perfect. Oh, Pitch oh. Perfect. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he and Elizabeth. I, I went along with that. Right, I thought yeah. that might have been a thing. He's I, being I, me too. Like, yeah, oh, Picture Perfect. Yeah. Greg, you might have caught a clue in there. I don't think they've produced any new America Says since oh. 2022. Oh my no. god. So maybe that's why he's wishing. Maybe that's why number one he's on cameo, uh, and number two wishing for more America. Says. Oh, that was awesome! Thank uh, you for that. Been a lot of talk about AI, but NPR of all people, they've got this article about how AI might not be so great. And the word they use is overrated. Oh. And here's a little bit of what they're saying: AI's capabilities have just been exaggerated. So several oh. promising stories about AI's triumphs have been proven bogus, but the researchers looked under the hood on those. Mm -hmm. Also, the artificial intelligence we have now isn't actually that smart. Like it can copycat humans, but it's not capable of really generating great new ideas. Right. AI also may not be improving as fast as some people claim it is. In fact, AI might be running out of juice because the AI models have already consumed the entire <laughs> internet. So what's left to feed? This AI baby. Mm, never it, thought of it that way. It lies. There's a big problem mm. with AI generated falsehoods and errors, which the experts are calling hallucinations. Okay. Yeah, you have to, every time they tell you to use AI, they say, but also double check AI. Yeah, yeah. 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 your doctor. Uh -huh. yeah. And because AI isn't very intelligent and these hallucinations make it un unreliable, so it's proving incapable of doing most, if not all, human jobs. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Despite all the media and investor mania about AI over the last few years, AI remains surprisingly limited. For example, in a recent study, only around 5% of businesses had used AI in the previous couple of weeks. We have yet to find AI's killer app because most applications now are in like personalized marketing and automated customer service stuff. Not very exciting. Yeah. And also, basic. Greg, the one I know you're most concerned about, mm -hmm. AI, very bad for the environment. It is? <laughs> How? Because the data centers that power AI require a crazy amount of electricity. It's kind of like mining for Bitcoin. Right, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And they already consume enough energy to power a small country. Thanks Ooh. a lot, yeah. AI. So thanks a lot. It jerks. Jeez. Taking our jobs and killing our planet. <laughs> and using up yeah. all our electricity. I yeah. It's not going to get better in any way, guys. No, it's just <laughs> no. going to stay exactly how it is right now. Yeah. I think what <laughs> what the point of this is, is that everybody thinks it's doomsday right now. Yeah, and all the yeah. jobs are going away. It's kind of like we're talking about flying cars or everybody being in self-driving cars. It's it's where it's going, clearly. We're just not yeah, there yet. Yeah, not yeah. tomorrow. Not yeah, it's not like imminent. It's not no. like right directly on the horizon. It'll get there we, eventually. We just got it. You think it's yeah, going to be it's absolutely perfect? New. Why am no. I not in the Jetsons yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just flipped a switch on a quantum computer. Like... Stuff is about to get crazy. Well, that's where the AI would. Well, it's because it's not the yeah. human the human stuff. The talking, writing jokes, etc. It's not good. It's going to be the stuff like detecting, like what Menace is saying, quantum stuff, where you're designing new drugs. Yeah, you're going to take all the information ever on research of yep. uh, you know cancer research and be able to figure out some stuff. Like you can process forty two years of information within thirty seconds. Yeah, and I keep telling my kids too because you know the schools and everything they're you know telling kids to stay away from AI. But I think, yeah. man, you got to know what it is, how to use it. It's been like telling people, hey, man, 
don't bother with these computers. Don't know how to use them. Don't learn them. Yeah, yeah. right. You know, it's very clearly that it's here to stay. It's yeah. not going anywhere. So you might as well use it and figure out how you can use it to enhance whatever it is that you do. Or yeah. like however skill, like you have a skill to be able to run. It, yeah. it takes somebody who really knows AI to run it the right way and to get the best results out of it. Yeah. That's why I figure that out. The Hollywood writers jumped the gun on AI being afraid of it because, yeah, AI sucks at writing material. But if you're a creative person and you can write something like text to video in AI is absolutely incredible. Here's a text. This one says, good morning, Woody Show. I'm worried about AI. I'm a gardener. <laughs> <laughs> not well, worried. You'll not be worried. fine. Well, you yeah, got yeah, this yeah. AI lawnmower. Or a robot yeah. gardener. Yeah. Yeah. Roblox. The Woody Show. All right, welcome back. Hey. After a thrilling round of cameo on the cheapo. That was the best ever. Where uh, Greg got his personalized <laughs> greeting. <laughs> John Michael Higgins. John Michael Higgins. I, and it sounds to me like he would really want to come in studio and hang out with it you. It does guys. sound yeah. that way. Hasn't he been in here before? No. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I thought there was another guy. Who was the other guy who worked on uh, Craig Ferguson, did all the impressions and stuff? Oh, he's oh, got that's three Josh names. Robert Thompson. There it is. Another th- <laughs> another guy who uses all three names. Yeah. yeah. Very talented. Can you can see where I would get confused. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Sammy, hint, hint, John Michael Higgins. Hmm. Uh, robot dentist, anybody? Mm-mm. Uh, maybe. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I would love this. I think it'd be kind of cool. I, by the way, I'm not one of these people very scared of the dentist. I don't mind uh-huh. it at all. It's, not I, it's, not, it's not like I sign up like, oh, I got a free day. What should I do? Let's, <laughs> I wish I was going yeah. to the dentist today, mm-hmm. but I don't freak out about going. I love Novocaine. What? Love it. Oh, man, I love hate it. it. Well, uh, these robot dentists are about to become a thing. I saw a video on it, too, this morning. This AI company. They just pulled off the first fully automated dental procedure. Wow. Where they shaved down this guy's tooth for a crown. Oh, Jesus. Oh. And uh, getting a crown normally requires two visits, one hour each. But they say they can do a full crown procedure in about 15 minutes using this thing. Wow. Yeah, I like that. So what it does is it 3D maps the inside of your mouth. This is the part that sounds a little like, oh, okay. It clamps onto your jaw. Uh-uh. Oh my and God. then uh, and then this drill moves in circles to grind the tooth down. And they still say it's about five years away from getting FDA approval. But then after that, the plan is to have them at dental offices all over the country. Think it's about how many, more, how many more patients they can see if yeah, it's right. taking 15 minutes as opposed to an hour. Now that sounds That's amazing. Cool. The video is pretty cool. And the question is, how do you, like, if it starts, let's say it finds, Going you know, haywire. it starts yeah. shaving you down your gums. Right. How it quickly, goes too far. Well, how I mean, quickly does it stop? I mean, the dentist is still there. Uh, but, like, how can it stop a robot? It's Just very strong. It's, 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 a it's become sentient. Yeah. 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 There's one of those buttons on escalators that stops it, you know? That's yeah. true. <laughs> there's yeah. a big red button or, like, red button. if there's a fire at the gas station, there's that, like, emergency pump cut off or right, whatever. Yeah. Right. I'm all for it. Just test it out on prisoners for a while. Without Novocaine. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It kind of looks like... Have you you see those things that uh, engrave like little dog you know dog identification oh, yeah. tags yeah. and stuff uh-huh. at PetSmart or yeah, Home Depot things that cut keys <laughs> right mm-hmm. except it's in your mouth and it's just <laughs> <laughs> around yeah, that's the a tooth crazy yeah, and but, I'm all for this stuff but I'm like I'm gonna see bass let's uh, do prisoners first yeah but it'd be great it's like, hey look as long as you give me enough Novocaine I'm good so yeah you like, I mean you like Novocaine not nitrous. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I'm oh, not a fan oh. of the ni- the nitrous. Actually, uh, gives me a tummy ache. Oh, oh no. yeah, I know. Do no, no. Yeah, my little belly. <laughs> but you you don't mind the like droopy mouth and the spitting? No, and the I look because because I have bite, the you can't yeah. feel it. because yeah. I have the facial hair, the the beard. Like I love touching the side of the face <laughs> where the novocaine is. And I go, wow, it's almost like a touching a yeah. different person. You know, like when your arm falls asleep or yeah. your hand falls mm-hmm. asleep, and you, and then you touch your own finger or your own hand. It's like, yeah, it's you weird. can't feel it. <laughs> But you're like when you're touching, it feels like a like a like a yeah. like a different person. Yeah, wow, man. I mean, that crazy. Happens. You think I'm high when you're doing it with yeah marijuana? Doing this, touching the beard yeah, is like, pretty weird. cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> get high. Yeah, yeah. but no, you're, it doesn't even feel like your face. It's like joing with your other hand. You know, like yeah. a stranger. They call that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.